Beautiful artists, I'm going to show you how to draw your paint drip in the style of Jen Stark. Your first step is to draw the drips on your paper. So you can come down, loop this around. And when you do a paint drip, sometimes it gets thinner and then it collects at the bottom. Then I will need to repeat these lines so that I can have my color scheme. Notice how I'm not going inside the thin area. I'm going to draw that as a separate drip and this will help you color your drips in in a fast manner. Now I will take my Sharpie and I will trace those lots to make them stand out. Notice under my paper I do have a mat. This will make sure that the Sharpie does not bleed through the paper onto the table. You would then take your eraser, erase all your pencil lines, be sure to hold your paper steady so it doesn't crinkle. Now you're ready to start thinking about your color scheme of how you're going to color it. One of your options, you could maybe do the entire rainbow. You could choose warm colors. You could choose cool colors. Or you could even do just simply black and white. I am going to choose warm colors. So when you go to add your color onto the paper, first step is to outline that section that you are currently coloring. Try to stay inside the lines. And then what you will do is you will use only vertical lines or strokes with the marker so that it will give the appearance of it possibly dripping. So notice how I'm using the wide side of the marker and that can help you color a little bit faster. Also try to avoid any white balding areas. Now that I have my paint drip all colored, I'm going to take my scissors and simply cut it out. Remember, you'll want to stay on your black line. And if you need to, you can cut around these places very big and then go in afterwards. But you want to make sure to be very controlled with your cutting. If you notice anywhere that still has a little bit of white left on it, you can just go back around, retrace your Sharpie lines just to fill in that white. And then with your pencil, put your name, period number. And lastly, you'd give this to the teacher. Enjoy.